Hey guys, um, here's a little something that I, uh, made, uh, pretty recently, um, a rotary, uh, phone, and I actually made this for, to use as a prop for a movie I was making, and, uh, I'd say it's pretty good, uh, it looks much better than the one I first used, which is literally just a couple of papers thrown together. Um, and look really ugly, but this one looks pretty nice. Um, glorified version of that piece of paper. <laughs> um, and you can see a lot of parts are Legos, like the finger stopper and all that. Cover that probably in the future. And maybe paint it up, but I'm not sure if I will because I won't be able to get the text a good color, so... But yeah, most of the functions work. The receiver is pretty ripped and not that good yet, but yeah. <clears throat> so most of the functions work. You got the uh, cancel button for the receiver. Like when you rest the receiver on top, it'll depress that button. And the rotary dial is spring loaded. So, just like the real thing, um, just pretty special for this model. Um, so, and uh, back in the day, instead of like, you know, the, the keypad, you would use this. So, say if you wanted to dial 423, you would uh, download 4, 2, then 3, like that. And then, um, that's how you would dial. So, you can also do the letter stuff as well. Um, and in the 60s, you had to dial zero for the operator. But in the 70s, starting then, uh, 73, um, they began to allow you to dial, you know, direct phone numbers. So, uh, this became less widely used. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's basically how it works and all that. Looks really good on set. Yeah, and then cancel it. There. Yeah.